Quick one, nothing here is financial advice. It's for entertainment and educational purposes only. Always do your own research or speak to a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Enjoy the episode and like and subscribe. Right then, welcome back to the new channel, Blockmates TV. This is going to be more educational, market commentary, explainers, me talking shit to the camera for a while and then guys and we're going to do a lot of other um, interesting more kind of piece of camera educational stuff on here and then founder series is going to be hosted on the original blockmates channel so um if you want to be kept up to date with videos like today then please just give us a like and subscribe because you might find some value in the stuff that we're going to be sharing out over the next couple of weeks so yeah as the title suggests today finding solana shit coins early without being an insider because it's very very easy to find um solana shit coins when you've been given information and despite being full-time in this industry for the past number of years i don't get tipped off anywhere near as much as i'd like to with shit coins and we have to do our own digging and um there's gonna be there's gonna be more than this kind of strategy to actually find and define an edge in these kind of markets and there's a lot of um what's the best way to describe it there's more than one way it's gonna cut right so if i'm missing anything that you do this is just how i do it i've been quite successful off it um not financial advice it's all public information as you can see um don't risk more than you can afford to lose and yeah i'm an idiot i don't know what i'm talking about so um right where we where we're starting so what you're going to need the very basics is some and this is like solana based we might do some base and some evm all L1 stuff later, but um, not in this episode. We're going to stick to Solana here. So basically, you're going to need Phantom, your Phantom wallet to interact out of. I've just preloaded this with some shekels. And then what we're going to do is you're going to also need Jupiter, which is the main DEX aggregator on Solana. And yeah, forgive me if a lot of this is going to be highbrow if you listen to this and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm more experienced than this. There's probably something in here for you as well. It's just that I want to kind of make sure that everyone from kind of all kind of experience levels has like a good understanding. So if I'm repeating myself or if I'm, you know, drilling down into what stuff means right down to like a really obvious level, then just bear with me. But um, there's a lot of people that don't have a strong understanding of a lot of this stuff as well. So Jupiter um, acts as a front end, basically finding you the best place from def different decentralized exchanges on Solana to route your trade through. So um, there might be um, Solana USDC. So as you can see here, it's just gonna route you through Radium, which is a decentralized exchange because that's the best price at that time. So very obvious, you need, sal you need salt with the gas as expected. You can DCA in the order, but this isn't a, this isn't a Jupiter explainer. So um, you're also gonna need Dex Greener. Um, this is the primary hub for um charting you can go to bird's eye it is a little bit quicker to be honest but i think with some of the features on deck screener which i'm going to go through in a bit um you might see why I, I tend to use it so uh what else do you need other than that you might want your telegram set up i'll get into why in, in a sec and but other than that i'm trying to think if there's anything else you need to install no you should be good Right, so where are we starting? So this is just, you're going to just kind of get a little look behind the curtain of what I'm up to when I'm having a little look. Um, what I will say is this kind of strategy and this kind of approach to these extremely volatile markets, um, it has to, you have to, have to, have to be risk adjusted when you're doing this kind of thing. Um, there's so much information you don't have you can do your best, but there's so much information you don't have. Them like a lot of people might be just acting extremely nefariously, um, or just being a complete dick, and they're ready to just kind of pull liquidity or play loads of games and and fuck you over at the at any opportunity really. Um, and because it's kind of capturing so much mind share of not just kind of crypto Twitter or the crypto industry at the minute, fair, much much further afield, then there's obviously going to attract negativity and uh, bad actors as well so please just be careful when you're doing this shit like you don't need to go and kind of gamble and if you hold like life away just just be sensible and don't be a dick 
And so issue issue a lot of people find is it's just sheer overwhelming um, information, particularly with how many coins and how many assets are on there. So what, where should we start? Very difficult, but let's say you got a, let's say we, we start from, there's multiple angles you can attack us from, but let's say we just start like really, really natively and go to deck screener. So deck screen is going to be our source of information and it all comes full circle with all the different tools that we're going to be using. So just bear in mind that um, we'll be using a lot of them. So, right. Where do we want to start? Well, there are specific filters that you can use on deck screener and like this is again, I might be teaching you how to suck eggs, but if you want to be a complete fucking degenerate, you can go on to the, the five minute <laughs> um, listings and then kind of sort sort through it. But that's like very, very wary of deck screener trending. Um, tokens can be paid to get additional boosts on these things. And let's be honest, if you're going to be a bit of a dick and you're just going to want to like be, have a bit of a cash grab, you're going to pay for this because it's going to be extremely little cost for extremely large kind of eyeballs on. Um, so what you could do is just go and set. You don't necessarily need to pay attention to the trending tab. You can just go direct over to the right on the filters. Let's say you want a minimum liquidity of, I don't know, 10K. Ten thousand dollars. You might want an FDV of maximum maybe a million. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but if you want to get some ridiculous gains, then you want to be um, aiming for as close to that as physically possible. And I'm not saying that anything past that is not worth looking at. But let's, for the sake of a uh, thousand X moon, moon boys listening, we'll go with that. And pair age, I don't know. Let's go six hours. You can move these up and down, have a play around, see what suits you. So what do we initially want to see? Um, we initially want to see, let's have a little sort by volume. So how much trade, how much of this asset is traded. So this bug cat seems to have had a lot of volume. It seems to be an hour old. What am I looking for here? Liquidity is locked. 100% of this liquidity is locked. Um, $2.2 million worth of buys. $2.1 million worth of sales. Right. Looks pretty interesting. What is the lower time frame doing? 5, 15, although it doesn't necessarily matter whatsoever. Something just to point out here, there's definitely some MEV happening. So sandwiching, even though it's line of doing their best to mitigate this. Um, and it doesn't look like a sandwich on Solana, where it, it does on Ethereum, but you tend to see the bread, the bread, and then like what's in that. So immediately this doesn't really fill me with confidence. It feels like there's a lot of wash trading going on here. Um, all people trying to buy and uh, are just getting completely fucked by. So if we, if we have, let's have a little look. Why, why do I think that? Well, there's been $4.4 million worth of volume in the first hour doesn't necessarily fill me with confidence when that is kind of a way that people will actually use that to wash trade that to the top of deck screener. If we just like lock in on the transactions here on deck screener, any kind of, so this wallet here, bought and sold. So let's see if this is a good one. So that is not natural price action. So all the all I did there was I had a look look at some of the wallets that were kept on coming through, and then click the filter button, and it shows you all the buys and sells from that specific wallet. And then you can just hover over. He's bought and sold. He's bought thirty three k, um, bought thirty five k, sold thirty seven. So there's definitely some trading algos running on this. Whether that is because there's a good opportunity for. Um, Mev here, or whether that is someone very is wanting to kind of make sure that this gets a lot of volume early on, or a mixture of both. <laughs> I don't know. So um, be just be wary when you see a lot, lot of volume come out, particularly in the first hour, because this will slowly start to move up. And again, as we just sorted by volume on the previous screen, 
because you want that volume going through doesn't necessarily mean that it's 100% organic or it's 100% great. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't immediately discredit it. So let's do a little bit more digging. So what else can we find out from this? Top traders. Um, someone bought 17K and they've sold 91K. They have nearly 4K unrealized. So we can see. Looks like they bought. Actually, did they buy? That's even more interesting. Yeah, bought on the first block. Let's go down to the second. Um, bear with me. Yeah, so bought here. <laughs> literally at the first block that's definitely a sniper and to do that they're almost certainly needed to get that contract early which i could do a whole new episode on sniping so if if you want to you want me to do that just leave a comment if that'd be of um you see you leave a comment and Please just follow along and put the notification on because you like as soon as that goes live, you'll be able to snipe it yourself. Pardon the pun. So yeah, this one was a sniper, so they've obviously made the fucking great trade there. Right. So what I'm gonna do now, because I've already started to get strange vibes from it. <laughs> Definitely not organic, put it that way. Reset the chart a sec. Um, I'm going to have a look at the Explorer. You can just directly click off to the Explorer here, down to the token. Um, but I much prefer Solana FM. Um, should be careful not to open <laughs> my wallet. And then just pasting the wallet, I mean, pasting the token address in Solana FM, which is a block Explorer. I think it's the best one there is. See all the transactions here. Just have a little look through. 53.61% buys. And then just go to the distributions tab, which is pretty good. So it's just transactions met at distribution. You can see this top wallet, which is the actual AMM. So the liquidity pool actually holds 8% of the supply. So that's locked. That's good. And then we've got pretty good distribution. So nothing over 2%. Very good. What you, as a rule of thumb, I think um, top 10 holders don't want over 10 to 15%. And this has got really good distribution. But what is quite con disconcerting is these round numbers and a lot of them. That kind of says either pre sale or team distribution. And if that makes up like 7%, it's not amazing. It's not really filling me with a lot of confidence. Um, so, just to recap, pasted the token into uh, Solana FM, went to Metro distribution. And there's no, sh no shit towards whatever this fucking token is. It's just, I'm just going through like the due diligence process of how you find stuff and more so how to not get fucked. Um, right, let's take a step further then. So, take the token again. This is where we want to get over to Telegram. Where the fuck is it? So, I have a bots folder. Um, and for here, I want to go to AI Solana Token Checker, which I think is really, really good. And I previously, you just install the bot, um, start. But what I really like checking is there's the checker token. Check token at a slash command. So mutable no, mutable no, feasible no, good. Um, it does also show you that on what's it called? Ah, it doesn't actually show you on this because it's it's so new. So yeah, if you want to kind of get a good glance and get the bot to do all the hard work, then um, deployer holds no no balance. But then forward slash ca space and then paste the contract again. Right. Now, team inherited supply by 5%, found six, 16 bots. Team now holds 4% of total supply. 
which corresponds back to what I was just saying earlier, these kind of rounded off balances. Um, okay. Team holds 4% supply, 8% of their total teams. Right, cool. Um, okay. Another thing, if you've got all these walls installed, you can just paste the address in there and see where it comes up. Chad Scanner, another wallet, another kind of, um, another bot that kind of does a lot of initial due diligence for you. No social links provided, check that's our deck screener, shows the distribution. Top holder owns five percent. Top, we know that's the liquidity pool. Top ten holders own fourteen point five, so that's not bad. Deployer owns five percent supply. Deployer might have done airdrops. Do your own research, right? So, are they trying to obfuscate the fact that they own five percent supply distributed? Who knows? Then what I typically do at this point is literally just go and have a check in the Telegram, see what's going on. So pretty active. Uh, what am I even looking for here? Voice chats scare me. <laughs> um, but no reason or other. It's just you start to pattern match and see. Um, start to see some like weird shit. So this Kevin Deba, who seems to post quite a few shit initially, buyback tokens burned. So a little look at this. So they bought six million. Oh, they burnt six million. It's quite interesting. Signer, just looking at whoever sent the transaction, and see what they're up to. Right, so they bought four thousand dollars worth, and they burnt them. Um, something smells a bit off. <laughs> Can't quite put my finger on it, but we'll try and keep up with it anyway. Let's have a little look at if I know anyone in here. I don't really recognize anyone up to now. You start to recognize people when you do this a lot. <laughs> I know that's terrible, but is it is. Um, all right, so let's have a look, a look at their socials. See, I'm undecided. I'm completely undecided on this one. I don't like a lot of the price action. I don't like the volume washing, but from the, I'm just going to make a little tab of it and put it on my list, create a watch list and keep it on there. So it's already moving up, um, on this list based on how much volume is being washed for it. So, uh, yeah, that's that one, right? Where else can we start from? That was like basic deck screener. Let's see if we can actually find something that's decent. So going back to Telegram, you can actually use, I don't know, maybe this Chad scan is good. This will just do basic due diligence. Um, Sol X, I don't really like names like this. I think they're fucking stupid. Ski Mask Pup, there is a token on base that already has a ticker. Don't go and stuff like that. Harry Wooster, I don't know what that is. Um, seems like anything at this present time recording on the 2nd of May cat related or country related is quite in vogue. Harry Wooster. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Um, right. So another angle you can take to kind of find stuff is if you're a complete fucking freak and you want to sit through Solana new listing listed pools, you can do that. You're going to be there a while because <laughs> there's so much shit that comes through and it's not very um, time efficient. Solana LP burns is a good one. So this will show you when tokens LP has been basically created and burnt and then it flags it here, kind of gives you a rough idea of when 
the trading started. So like one minute ago, market cap um, gives all the socials. It's actually a really, really good tool, to be honest. It takes all the boxes on the criteria check and then create has got 2% and then the rest of them have 1%. But then bad issue scores, bad issue, create said 97% of the total supply to other wallets. Boo, not good. And then again, it lets you just, if you have banana or bong butter or anything like that set up, you can go and do that. So um, if you do want to set banana up, I'll set you, uh, there's a ref link below and there's a bong butter ref link below. It goes to fund the uh, 10,000 beers that we're going to drink us on our team offsite. I don't get it personally as much as I'd like it. So yeah, this is a good one. Solana LP Burns. It's a really good one if you're kind of just fucking around, you find something on deck screener and you want to just go on command F and then paste it in there. It'll, it'll bring it up. So if we had, yeah, that Harry Wooster one, then it'll just send you to that. Um, one issue, immutable metadata. We don't, go, don't want to go anywhere near that. So really good one. Chad scan is good. Um, let's see what else we've got. So Photon. <laughs> Never really had a great time with Fort on if I'm completely honest. So this is like a trading terminal. You deposit some sol into the wallet that it creates for you. And then the whole idea behind this is they've optimized it so much that it's way, way quicker than deck screener. It's way quicker than um what's the one called bird's eye. And you can actually just ape within within the app. And then you can head over to the left. It actually works on on Base Blast and Solana and Deef, but with on Solana today. So you can set some criteria. You see, like this this bug cat's popping up in here as well, which I don't know. So you can kind of see you can filter on and off. If you feel really degenerate, you can just like reduce all these in in the hope that the team might put them back on later. But you're more of a degenerate than me. Um, and then you can kind of just sit through. Maybe they, you want to just kind of keep refreshing this as they come through. They'll give you initial liquidity. They'll give you market cap, <laughs> $6. That's kind of hilarious. And volume. You might want to sort by volume, to be honest. It's volume. See, this copy, this is how they get it. If you are sorting by volume a lot, you want to see that. It's kind of a good indicator, but it's getting gamed a lot. Um, 5.1 million, 5.2 million, uh, it's created an hour ago. This one, egg, let's have a little look. Yeah, dead, unlucky. Thanks for playing. Um, again, sort by volume. Nothing really standing out here for me. What am I looking for? Kind of consistent, moving in the right direction. If you want to be early, you're going to be super early, but a higher chance of getting fucked. So, yeah, you can use this as a bit of a kind of go-to just to kind of see it a lot quicker than what's happening. And then if you want to take it over to, um, you want to take it over to Dex Arena, then and go for it. I suppose another place you could go to is Pump Up Fun, <laughs> which is fucking insane and will give you a reduced amount of brand cells. So this is a place where anyone can list a token with very, very little initial capital. And then like if you put the animations on, it's just like absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> so um, let's have a little look at this one because it's a dog. So what market cap is this? This is 27,000 market cap. Virtual liquidity is 22K. Bonding cap process 85%. When the market cap reaches 56,651, all liquidity from the bonding curve, excuse me, will be deposited in radium and then burn. Progression increases till the price goes up. Problem is when market caps are low, people can just go, come over here and just fucking buy up a shit ton of the supply, which isn't great. So, um, and then there's also this troll box as well, which is actually quite funny. Should we do some for the culture? I think we should. Okay. Put 
three then see what happens three soul sorry du, 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 du. bear with me are we in are we not in transaction failed a crit I too. <laughs> this will go for it. There we go. No, failed. All right. Well, anyway, that's. Let's just change the slippage. Fucking 10%. Slippage, for anyone who doesn't know, it's the amount you're accepting. The price change by and your transactions to still go through. Do, 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 do. That doesn't go through. And fuck it. We're moving on. Ah, oh, that one went through. Yep. So, um, so you can check there. Be very, very careful because a lot of the data can be mutable and there's a lot of fuckery that goes on on there. You can kind of see some of them that made it out alive. So order ascending. So by market cap descending. So Mishi came from here. Shark Cat came from here. What in Tarnation? Uh, what else? So yeah, quite a few good ones. Cheese. Dog with 2.0. <laughs> so a uh, little horn down there as well that came from there. So yeah, it's uh, quite interesting place to find stuff early, but again, just be very, very careful because there's as much fuckery that goes on in these, in these parts as, as the others. I feel like I need to do another episode because I don't think I've even scratched the surface on what to be looking out for. Maybe we can call it there until the next one because there's a lot more that I'd like to go through and I simply don't have time. Uh, so hopefully that will start. I'll try and get the next one done next week so it's not too long in between. There's a lot more to go through, so let's do that then. And uh, give us a like, subscribe, notifications on, and um, jump in Discord if you kind of want to have a chat about stuff as well. It's completely free. Don't want anything from anyone unless you want to join the meal deal, which should go live next week. And yeah, we'll see you next time and try and put into practice some stuff that you might have learned. And if you do have any questions, just ping me um, and I'll try and answer it. Thank you. Bye. All right. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a like, subscribe and turn the notification bell on for next time. See you.